Hey guys, this is Pavel Venture, hey. welcome back. <laughs> so today we have a big mission. We are here in Dahab on the coast of the Red Sea. Okay, this is my friend Khalid. Khalid Hello. Her, famous Egyptian traveler. Alexandrian. Uh, exactly. He's, <laughs> he's from Alex. Eshtayemen. <laughs> Just gonna go out of the town and we're gonna hitchhike to St. Catherine and then we're gonna climb the highest mountain in Egypt which is Mount Katrin. It's about 2,600 meters over the highest. Here we are now in Dahab, it's around 20 degrees. There on the top is gonna be at night, probably about below zero, minus three. We'll see how we handle that. So it's gonna be quite a challenge to get there and do this yeah. shit. So basically we're gonna go from the zero, which is the sea level, sea level yeah. to the highest mountain of the, of the Egypt. So I think it's quite a great mission to do and you guys uh, keep fingers crossed for us, yeah. right? So here we come to the end of the hub and it's amazing, it's a sunny day, it's beautiful today and there is such a nice view to the mountains around, you wanna check it out oh, it's so beautiful, I love it totally oh my god, wow How is it going? Yeah, all good, man. It's all good. We got yeah, a car. It's working, yeah. We, it's, a long time. we got the car. So. We got stuck in the police checkpoint in the hub. It took us like one hour. Yeah, one hour and a half almost. Yeah. We have to show the passport. They search our things. Like the checkpoints here in Egypt, it's like another border, you know. Like it's like border, border. So many borders inside the country, you know. So yeah. But it's working. So. But it works. We are now moving. We we contributing to petrol to this guy who gave us leave now. Yeah. Heading to next checkpoint and from there hopefully we'll get a car straight to Katrin. Yeah, right? Do it, man. <laughs> yes. <Absolutely>. Nice one. <laughs> car uh, it's like a bus I think and we pay a little bit of money but we're moving on right Guys, we got this car. I cannot imagine the better way to arrive to to Katrin, but yeah. with this crazy truck, super old. And uh, yeah, we are here. We did it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be back here. You know, in Katrina, as I lived here before, and uh, this feel even more my home than the hub. You know, and these people are so beautiful. You know, yeah. Tell us, how was the ride? Uh, we made it! We did it! Woo! Here we are! Here we are! <laughs> Put it there! Wow. Guys, we did it! We are in St. Catherine! Yeah. It's much colder here! We made it, yeah! So from zero, zero elevation to half, now we are, I think, uh, about 1,500. And now we have to continue to the top, to the so-called roof of Egypt, right? Yeah. Catherine Mountain. 
Let's hope no one will see us. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I cannot put into words how, how much happy I am to be back here in uh, St. Catherine. I actually used to live here. I spent here like uh, three months and a half living here. And uh, it was a very beautiful time. So now all the memories coming back, you know. And uh, I experienced many beautiful things here and the people here are so nice, you know. It's, this place is still quite isolated, you know, and not many people get down here. I can feel like the hub is great and uh, it's beautiful there, there is a Red Sea and all this. But this one has something, something there, you know, there is something I cannot describe. It's just here and it's so beautiful and these people are so nice, you know. And they are not so much exposed to tourism, so they are still like very normal. And they are Bedouin people, and they are very nice people. Three, two, one, check it out, guys! Ta da! Come on! <laughs> oh my god, this one is beautiful. But this is the center of St. Catherine. Uh, this little, little center, you have all the shops, you have a petrol station behind there, there is a there's a bank, there's a beautiful mosque. And it's so different because last time I was here, I was here in summer. In summer it gets around 30 degrees and uh, now it's about maybe 5-0. You see I have a, I have my head from Iceland, you know, it's, it's quite cold. I have shoes. You see I changed for sandals. We actually chose the Mount Katrin not only because if it's the highest in, a, in, a, in here, but actually it's not so famous like uh, uh, Moses Mountain, you know, the uh, Gebel Musa or Sinai Mountain. The biblical mountain where Moses has received uh, the Ten Commandments uh, from the God, which applies for all Abrahamic religion, which is Islam, Judaism, Christianity, and Baha'ism. Uh, this one is actually more touristic and it's more, it can get more busy, more crowded, but we're gonna go to this one. Uh, there is an amazing uh, open house, you know, up the, on the top where we can actually, where we're gonna sleep. Otherwise, we would be freezing to death, I suppose. So we're gonna be there. We're gonna spend their night, maybe too. We'll see how it goes. By the way, uh, I'm making this vlog uh, with my new iPhone. I got iPhone 7. I was for a long time I was resisting to iPhones, uh, but I actually got this one not because it's iPhone. Well, it, because it's iPhone and because it has a nice camera. You know, it has a really nice camera. So I want you to guys let me know if you like the picture, if you if the sound is good for YouTube. If you can hear it well, I hope. This is the only disadvantage of this uh, device is that I cannot uh, plug external microphone. But uh, I think as long as it is not windy, it should be fine and you should uh, enjoy the sound, you know, back home. There's a tripod. I used to have the big, big camera, big DSLR camera, and I used to have a big tripod for it. And for this one, I have just this one. Ta-da! <laughs> you know, so this is my, this is my shooting gear now, you know, this guy and the camera and the iPhone, that's it, you know. Hopefully it's gonna work for you guys. It works for me. My life is easy. It's just in my pocket, always. And I can shoot anything, anywhere. That's it. So we already got the welcome drink. Uh, it's a special receipt from the local doctor. <laughs> So this is hibiscus, uh, sage, wild mint and uh, rosemary. It tastes so nice, oh my god. Oh my god, so nice. This was such a warm welcome here in St. Catherine. When we came in, they just make a bonfire. They sit around, we got another tea. Oh my god, I love it so much. Amazing, and now we are again in the street. Uh, Khalid, he tries to rent a house. He's gonna stay here, live here for a month or so. Uh, the Sinai Peninsula, it's holy land. And St. Catherine is in the heart of the South Sinai Peninsula and it's such a peaceful place, you know. I can feel it and I can tell it, you know. Uh, it's such a peace here and I love it so much. So here we are, this is a Bedouin camp. Uh, Khalid is renting a house in two days. And now we are here, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful restaurant. Check it out. We are so lucky uh, we got invited by this Bedouin man for amazing dinner. So let's get to it. It already got dark, so uh, just walking at night. We just get successfully through the uh, Wadi Shrej, it means uh, Shrej Valley. And now we are getting to another valley, it's called Arbain Valley, uh, which means uh, 40 Valley. This one is nice adventure so far, it's super dark, but we enjoy. Yep. I'm exhausted, man. <laughs> okay. But we are almost to the top, so... You look Ooh. like a badass, man. Really? Yeah. Uh, that was compliment. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, check it out. So here I am. This is the highest mountain of Egypt, Mount Katrin, uh, 2,600 
and something meters. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty cold. I think it's about zero degrees, and um, we're just uh, gonna have a just gonna have a sunset soon behind me. Check it out. And here on the top, uh, here, uh, this is a, this is a church here, a Christian uh, church. Yeah, and this is it. So we made it with my friend Khalid. Here we are. Awesome. Awesome feeling. Uh, amazing. Uh, it was really. Uh, it was a pilgrimage. I would say. Wow, so I just now enjoy the, the sunset. Yeah, beautiful. All the mountains around. Amazing stuff. Guys, check it out. I have a new friend over here. Hey, hello, hello. How did you get here? You crazy dog. Come on, welcome. Wow, crazy dog. <laughs> he made it here like us. Awesome. <laughs> What is it? the second night we are here and we just made a bonfire we, uh, we ate some dinner you know and uh, yeah just uh, warming up a little bit this room it was very nice I used some sage and Palo Santo to clean the, the, the area spiritually and I think the energy here is very good uh, it's very pure um, ourselves by coming <laughs> here it was quite purifying journey uh, it took us quite a while. We came here at four o'clock in the morning, and we were resting on the way. And we were like, uh, we were just resting, and we we fall asleep, you know. And it was just insane, you know. But we actually and we managed, and we came here. Now I think we are ready, and we are now the second night here. We are our uh, we are here on our own, so which is actually great. Thanks God, that we have this place just uh, for ourselves now, and we can use it for for the for the main reason why we came here. So I think we are very close, we are much closer together, I suppose, to universe, like by, uh, by being in such a elevation here. And like I said, everything here feels pure. Like we're not super de uh, clean our bodies, but, but uh, otherwise, there is no shower, you know, but there is there are other things, like the purity of the place itself. It's like a pilgrimage place. And it was like a pilgrimage yesterday, kind of really. Um, anyway, so I think now we're ready to call it and I brought with me here this thing, yeah, these mushrooms from Europe, I actually make a powder from them so I can go through with that uh, through the border <laughs> and I did, you know, and yeah, that's cool. So now we can take it and I think it's gonna be very special this night because this place, it's a, it's first January 2012, uh, 20, sorry. Well, I think it's very magical number. <laughs> I think uh, I think many things happen will happen uh, this year. I think it's gonna be a huge transformation uh, in the world happening. Yeah, lots of people awakening and so on. So anyway, let's do it. And uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll see we'll see you on the other side, as there is no way back, right? <laughs>
Do you want to tell us, like, you have some expectations or you have some intention for this trip, for this journey? I don't have any expectations. I'm just willing to accept whatever may happen. Are you, are you ready? You feel like you're ready for this? Yes. You wanna? Do. You think you wanna go through it, yeah? Yeah. You have anything else to say? You feel on your heart to share with us tonight? Live your life. Okay. It's nice, actually. I actually put the powder, uh, the mushrooms powder, water, and lemon. Okay, guys. This is my turn <coughs> to take mushrooms. It's my uh, sixth time. Yeah, I take it. And uh, first time was in Czechia. Second time, uh, Iceland. Third time, Czechia. And I took it uh, two times a year <coughs> here in the hub. Now I take it here. I think I have I have one more uh, portion, and this I would like to take in Razov Galum to fill the area there. Also very peaceful. So yeah, mm, we will see what uh, what's coming up. Yeah, <laughs> cheers, <laughs> nazdravi. <laughs>
بال دي هنا دي ولا حاجه <تصفيق> لا لا احيانا وبيبقى في مثلا انت بتبقى ماشي في طريق في مثلا كل كام كيلو في قريه اها قريه صغيره فيها بيوت ومطاعم وكل حاجه في تاني؟ ايه بس انا يعني ما ببقيتش في مكان على طول ما الخيمه بتاعتي This is my new friend uh, Salih Salem Salem yes and he was so kind he invited us for the tea and do you want to say anything Okay, you come along Clam Santa Catherine like good mountain, Santa Catherine. He's a guide for the mountain and uh, he, uh, he's here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Shukran, you. Giran. Shukran. Oh, well. See you next time, inshallah. Inshallah, see you next time. Inshallah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
so I really enjoyed that one, you know. So another amazing uh, night here. Things are happening, and I really enjoy it so much. And there is one more important thing I want to show you. This is a bread, it's hobus or aish, uh, aish uh, baladi. It's like a uh, Egyptian bread, yeah. And because we are in Bedouin land, uh, here is the local bread. This is a Bedouin bread. Check it out. It's a homemade, you know, and it is. And they call it like a fitir, you know, they call it here fitir. So I really like it, you know, and then you put it here on the stove and you warm it up before you eat it, you know. Very nice, but you can do the same with the Egyptian bread. So anyway, let's get down to the dinner. Ta -da! Today we came here to visit uh, Dr. Ahmed. Uh, he's the local famous doctor who knows everything about herbs and he sells herbs so we just had like uh, some tea you know and we chat a little bit and relax uh, in this uh, nice uh, duania you know uh, chilling place and I also check his animals you know he's got some goats there so beautiful you know <laughs> this is my uh, sheep friend this is a uh... tamam this one is curious <laughs> These ones are so happy, so happy sheep. Wow. And now we're gonna go to his shop and I'm gonna get some local herbs from, from him, you know. So let's go check it out. <laughs> okay guys, check this back. <laughs> Yeah, I got all, all the herbs from here, you know, I got the, the olive oil, like, wow, it's such an olive oil, like, man, the best olive oil you can get is from here. I have very nice honey, it was quite expensive, you know, but it's just like a medicine here, you know, so it's a good value for the money. And yeah, I spent like really lots of money, you know, but I'm so happy, I bought all the spicy, not the spicy, but yeah, like a herbs for tea and for different uh, health problems I used to have. So I have to just like use them all just to be super healthy again yeah so I can travel more right so check it out uh, this is this is the olive oil from here uh, it's been uh, pressed here uh, in, uh, in the monastery of uh, St. Catherine here is uh, like a homemade uh, tahina you know very nice <coughs> and here oh my god look at this these are almonds in the skin you know very expensive but the best almonds in the world I think and here is the honey this is a nice honey, it's kilo, one kilo of honey. And also, this is probably, this was, this was the most expensive. This is half kilo of, of honey from Katrina. Uh, it costs like 20 euro, but this is like a medicine, you know. You, you take like a one spoon a day and that's it, you know. Super, super nice stuff, you know. And what else I have? I have lots of, lots of herbs from here. Check it out. Uh, this, is a, this is hibiscus. Uh, this is a uh, wild mint, this is a uh, chamomile, I got chamomile, uh, this is like oregano, beautiful stuff, uh, actually this is uh, artemisia, this is used for, uh, this is used for uh, curing malaria for example, uh, it's called betaran in Arabic, and here I have anis, anis, anis you know, for a nice tea, and this is a marmarea, it's a sage. And this one, the last one, it's a, this is a rosemary. Yeah, very nice. So I get all this spicy, you know, so I done all the shopping and now I can go back to the hub, you know. Very nice. So after three awesome nights here, I spent in the Master Lodge. I'm going camping, checking back to the hub. Today it's really nice weather. Again, it's sunny, you know, so it feels great. I think it's gonna be great, great journey back home, yeah. So let's go.
back home. Uh, I was so lucky, I, I hitchhiked my friend from Katrina, so he drove me all the way down here. And here I am back in the hub, I'm back home, awesome. So I really hope you enjoyed this crazy trip with me. It was really crazy, it was awesome. It was challenging, it was everything, it was beautiful. And now I'm here back, it's much <laughs> warmer. Thanks God, and this is it. So anyway, thanks uh, for watching my videos, and I will see you soon next time. Love you, bye bye. Thank you.